Hey, this is Connie with Connie's Crafty Corner. Um, today, I'm just going to talk about a few finished objects. I've got so many whips that if I brought those up in this video, then we'd be here all day. So, this is going to be a really quick video because like I say in my earlier video is I have just been starting all kinds of projects and finishing very few. Uh, so, let me go ahead and show you what I've started or, or finished. I'm sorry. The first is I showed you guys this. Um in a video or so ago, and I thought that I would just whip out this little Yoda really quick, but I hate to tell you, this thing took me hours because <laughs> that brown yarn right there was so hard to see. Uh, this is my first amigurumi, I think that's how you say it, and I <laughs> I love doing it. I, it was fun. I think he sort of resembles Yoda. I did okay with the placement. I mean, everything's not perfect by no means, um, but it was fun doing it. And I suggest, you know, people give this a try if they hadn't done it, but I would not start with these little tiny amigurumis because that, trying to do these little, um, little tiny arms, these little arms with that dark thread or yarn was so hard. But I'm gonna tell you a little bit about, excuse me, I dropped something, a little bit about this. It comes with this book, which I thought, from somebody who can't read patterns that well, these were excellent directions. I mean, they give great illustrations and they've got patterns for everything that's shown on the front, which I thought was pretty cool. There's Princess Leia. But I, I plan on doing the rest of these for my husband. He, he's gonna be tickled to death with it. And surprisingly, the yarn was really good. They give you a, a great amount of yarn. This is what I had left out of doing just Yoda. And then I've got to do the Stormtrooper, which I think just takes up these two. Um, I did technically not run out of the tan, but um, I messed up on one of the sleeves and had to redo it. So, But I didn't have enough to keep, so I'm not keeping that. But I do recommend this. This was pretty cool. I mean, it, like I say, the directions were awesome. And as somebody who's never done amigurumi before, I was pretty surprised I was able to get it done. Okay, I already showed you this next one, but I thought I'd go ahead and show it again in case somebody didn't see that video. I worked with this yarn, the Sugar and Cream, in the color Rose Pink. And I got these three washcloths. I did the lemon peel. And I started with 25 chains and did it until it, you know, got about square. So I got three of those, and then I got the little mini one that I used just in the kitchen to get into tight spots and to do, you know, just whatever. I really interchange all these, except I do use these on my counter more. So I got that done. And then I finished my baby blanket. I used the Karen Cotton Cake in beach glass. And I used two whole no, almost two whole skeins. I had just about this much left of the second one, the cake or whatever. Um, I love how this turned out. Let me show it to you. It's probably around 36, 37 inches. Um, I do, I love how this turned out. And I think it could be gender neutral. You could use it for anything. My daughter-in-law's already claimed that she's not pregnant yet, but she said she'd love to have this. Or she loved it. She didn't say she'd love to have it, but she did say she loved it, so. We'll see if they hurry up and have me a grandbaby. And I finished the shawl that I was making for Rose um, Lights Crochet, the, the charity wings that she supports, and a lot of the YouTuber people and a lot of other people just out there uh, sending stuff in. I finished this, and I'm tickled to death with how this turned out. It's, it's rather large. I used almost the entire cake, um, and it, but it's not heavy. It's real lightweight, it's real airy. So I think it'll be okay, but I do, I love this. Um, so I got that finished this week. Um, and how, I, what I was gonna say is how I got these to blend like this. I may have told you this in another video, is I used actually two strands at once and I offset them a little bit so they'd start kind of fading into each other. And I like that effect, I liked how that turned out. Okay, the other thing that I got done, and I don't know, <laughs> I'm so good about, oh, here it is right in front of me. This is the seam, oh, and I forgot to tell you, that uh, baby quilt was the Summer Breeze Throw, and it's by Rich uh, Textures Crochet, and I will, uh, oops, I hadn't tied that in then. I will uh, put a link to this, because I love that stitch. I love that, it worked out really cool. I, I could see doing like a contrast color for these little chains 
and then do another color for, you know, all the rest and it just being pretty cool. I, I may do that again later. Uh, but I also had enough left over that I made this little baby hat. Is this not precious? I just love this. It is precious. So this is in the zero to three month size and it goes all the way up to uh, adult. I mean, you can make this from zero to adult. Um, and this is the Seamless Ear Flap Hat by Lindsay Carr. And I will put a link in the uh, description box for that. This was super quick and super fun. And I just found out somebody in my family is having a baby. And I am so excited. She's going to find out what it is. I'm not going to mention who she is now because I don't know how many people she's telling. Um, but I look forward to many more baby items in the future. Okay. The... That's all of my finished objects. Okay, that's all I said. I don't have many of those, but I got something that I bought. And I know I said I'm not gonna buy a whole lot of yarn this year, but I couldn't help it, and I apologize for the crinkling. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. I would've opened this off camera if I'd have known. Let me get it open right quick. Okay. I don't know if you guys watch Erica from The Lopsided um, Crafter, but I absolutely love her. Um, I, I love the how she just cranks out so many socks and her colors that she has and all that stuff. Well, she's recently started dyeing yarn. And this was her self-striping. Let me see if I can come up. Be my Valentine. And I'm telling you, this is absolutely beautiful in person. There's her label. And she's on Etsy. In the picture on Etsy and even her showing it in her video did not do this justice. When I got this in the mail, I was so blown away by just how beautiful this is. Um, I'm going to save it for socks because that's what it is. It's a sock yarn. Um, it's actually on her Alice base. She names all her bases by, I think, important people in her life. But this is her Alice base. It's finger and weight. It's 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. It's 437 yards. This is just beautiful. I, I just hope this does it justice, the colors. It's just gorgeous. Um, but she's opened up her Craftsy shop. Um, Craftsy, Lord of mercy. I hadn't heard that word from my mouth in a long time. Her Etsy shop and has started selling yarns and she's got some beautiful stuff on there. So beautiful that I had to buy something else. Now, I am originally from North Carolina. I live in Colorado now, but I lived there for 40 years before we started moving all over the place due to my husband's work. And she had something called Carolina Sunset. And I just had to get it. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. The picture she's got as her inspiration on that, on Etsy, is just beautiful. Now, I don't know if she has any of this left. I really don't think so, but I, she may have some of this, but this is gorgeous. This is, um, she doesn't have it say that it's on her Alice base, but it's got the same stats as the other one. Is that not gorgeous? I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. and wished I'd have bought another one, but I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. And I didn't mean to repeat myself, <laughs> but I think this is beautiful. I have to come up with something. But that's all I've got today. Um, you know, I told you about me falling, uh, I think Tuesday's when I fell. Uh, I'm much better. I appreciate all the well wishes that I got in the comments. And also, I want to let you guys know that it has been such a pleasure talking with you guys. And I, I just enjoy the back and forth and everybody saying such sweet things. And it just makes my heart happy. So, I appreciate it. And I will be back with you probably Monday or Tuesday uh, with another video. And I'm definitely doing my whips on Wednesday. I've decided to split them up, especially since I'm going through this craziness of starting and stopping a bunch of stuff. This is crazy. And in fact, the Argo hat that I talked about that I got with Southern Skeins, I started that pattern with that subscription. I started that thing twice and I've decided I do not like a thin sport way or fingerling hat. The pattern's wonderful, but I just don't think I'm gonna enjoy it. So I pulled it all out and I'm trying to come up with something else to do with it. But thank you guys for listening. And I'm sorry, I'm rambling today. I'm just rambling all over the place, but it's Friday and my house is a hot mess and I've got to get up and get to work on it. So I'll talk to you guys later and thank you for uh, for tuning in. I'm sorry I'm all over the place. Thank you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.